This film shows the life of an ordinary family in the near future. Although many of the products they use appear very normal and are similar to what we use today, something has fundamentally changed. These products are bio-based. The plastics they use are no longer produced from petroleum, but are bioplastics that have been produced from renewable resources such as maize or wheat. Bioplastics can be used for packaging materials, cups and trays, but also for pens, chairs and so on. They are just as versatile as ordinary plastics are. These bioplastics are biodegradable and will turn into compost on the compost heap of your garden or in industrial composting installations. In composting installations such as these, the bioplastics will degrade into compost within a few weeks. Biogas is formed during the process and is used for the production of green electricity and heat. The compost is used to fertilize the soil and grow plants and crops so that the whole story can start again. This creates a natural cycle that is essential for maintaining our way of life in the future. Bio-based products also intervene in the washing process. The laundry detergents are bio-based and contain biosurfactants and biotechnological enzymes. Thanks to these ingredients, we can now wash at significantly lower temperatures, saving a lot of energy. Also for doing the dishes, bio-based detergents are both effective and gentle for the skin of our hands. And these detergents contain no phosphates and are, of course, perfectly biodegradable, keeping our environment clean and healthy. Also, the drugs we use are increasingly bio-based and produced by biotechnological processes. Most of the vitamins that are used in vitamin supplements are produced from maize by industrial fermentation processes. They are perfectly identical to the natural vitamins of fruit and vegetables. Even our money is essentially bio-based. Did you know that Euro notes are produced from cotton and hemp fibers? And what would our lives look like if we didn't have paper, produced from trees? Also, the fuel that runs our cars will be bio-based. Biofuels such as biodiesel and bioethanol are already produced from rapeseed and cereals. The fuels we use today are produced from petroleum. Not only does petroleum become increasingly expensive, the exhausts from these fuels also lead to significant pollution and carbon dioxide emissions that heat up the planet. Biofuels emit far less carbon dioxide, maintaining the Earth in balance. At present, our society is moving towards the bio-based economy. In the bio-based economy, many of the products we need are produced from renewable resources, such as wheat, maize or sugar beet. Research is underway to develop new technologies, such as industrial biotechnology and green chemistry, that result in environmentally friendly production processes. Industrial biotechnology, for instance, uses the natural synthesis power of microorganisms. Nearly everything that we need can be made from renewable resources. All over the world, research is underway to make these processes more efficient. These production processes form the technology base for biorefineries, large industrial production complexes that convert renewable resources into the products we need. Biofuels are among the first products to hit the market. To make these biofuels, a large biorefinery is being built at the Rodenheiser docks in Ghent, Belgium. In this biorefinery complex, both bioethanol and biodiesel will be produced on a single site, making this the largest integrated production site for biofuels in Europe. 
five different partners will collaborate closely together to make the production process as efficient as possible. EuroSilo will take care of the logistics aspects of the renewable raw materials, particularly cereals and rapeseed. They are transported by road, rail or boat and stored in the gigantic silos of the site. For the production of biofuels, over a million tons of raw materials will be used. Next to EuroSilo, the production facilities of Alco Biofuel will be built. These will use the cereals from EuroSilo and process them into bioethanol. The production installations of Alco Biofuel will be capable of producing 300,000 cubic meters of bioethanol per year. For biodiesel production, rapeseed is used. The rapeseed is transported from Eurosilo to Cargill, who will extract the rapeseed oil from the seeds. Immediately next to the Cargill plant, the production installations of BioRo will be built to convert the rapeseed oil into biodiesel. The BioRo plant will be able to produce 250,000 tons of biodiesel per year. The produced biodiesel and bioethanol will be stored, mixed and distributed by oil tanking present at the same site. The biofuels will be mixed with normal gasoline and diesel fuel so that everybody will use an increasing percentage of biofuels in their cars. And the good news is that nobody will need to do anything to benefit from biofuels. After mixing, the fuel mixture will be distributed to gas stations all over the country. For ordinary car owners, everything remains business as usual. The biofuel production site at the Rodenheiser docks is very integrated and covers the whole production chain, starting from the renewable raw materials, cereals and rapeseed, up to the production, storage and distribution of biofuels to the gas pumps. It is a perfect example of an eco-efficient biorefinery. The production site at the Rodenheiser docks is also part of Ghent Bioenergy Valley. The ultimate goal of Ghent Bioenergy Valley is to turn the port of Ghent into the first bioport of Europe. The bio-based economy starts right here, right now, in the Rodenheiser docks in the port of Ghent. An eco-efficient biorefinery complex for the production of biofuels is under construction, laying the base for the sustainable society of tomorrow. Let's get started towards the bio-based economy. Mm -hmm.